What's up YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with a watch list cleanout video. I had so many items kind of backlogged in my sold items in my watch list that I wanted to put together kind of a general video covering everything vintage Kenner Star Wars, including some other things that are not Kenner, like these awesome Japanese poppies. Uh, we've got a die-cast TIE bomber. Uh, graded, ungraded, kind of all over the map, and loose figures, mint on card, just a really great assortment of items. I want to say thank you to my latest Patreon supporter, Todd Brightcrite, and I did ask for his pronunciation on that one. Thank you, Todd, for becoming a Patreon supporter. I had the pleasure to meet Todd at a toy convention last May, and uh, he just became a Patreon. As always, thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. You guys allow me to make more and better videos and I give 24 hours early access to all of my Patreon supporters for my videos. Patreon.com slash Action Figure Grader is where you can go to sign up for any dollar amount. Let's go ahead and take a look at some awesome items. These were all kind of on my watch list. And I wanted to kind of show you some recent prices. And as we've talked about recently, when you look at vintage mint on cards, if you're willing to live with some defects you can get some really great deals. Here was a 12 back A mint on card Obi-Wan Kenobi with the SKU on the footer. So this is one of the very, very earliest 12 backs you can get, if not the earliest, with the exception of the double telescoping saber Obi-Wan Kenobi. But this one had the proof of purchase cut out on the back, as you can see right there. And, you know, you can get some good deals. I mean, if this thing was in AFA 80 plus condition, uh, you'd be talking... I don't know, $1,500 to $2,000 pretty easily, if not higher. And uh, this one sold for $723 at auction, 51 bids, so lots of action on that one. That one closed on January 8th. But if you look at it from the front, it presents perfectly. It's got a beautiful crystal clear blister that is in great shape. The front of the card is in great shape. Just some very minor edge wear around the hang tab there. No price sticker. But obviously, the proof of purchase is cut off, and the price reflected that, so... Certainly a beautiful display piece. One question I've received from subscribers is what kind of grade do proof of purchase cutout mint on cards get? And probably at the highest you'll get is a 60 uh, with the grading companies because of that proof of purchase being cut out. It's, it's considered a stru major structural damage to the card. But you don't need to grade something like this. This is an awesome display piece. You put this in a sliding acrylic case, put it on your shelf, have it facing forward. No one's going to know. And when they walk in, they say, wow, you've got an original 12-back A SKU footer stand Obi-Wan Kenobi, and you picked it up for 700 bucks." Now, look, I, I know that this is still a very expensive item, but this is you know over $1,500 to $2,000 in high grade. And to get it for, let's call it about 30% of that price, that's a really fantastic deal. So... Uh, just another idea there. Here was an AFA 75 plus 12 back C. Tuscan Raider Sand People 75, 85, 85 were the sub scores. Uh, there's the label there. And uh, here's the front of the card. It's got a price sticker in the upper left hand corner. It was punched, but look how beautiful this example is. Really, really nice condition. Again, make sure that when you're buying these that you take a look at the capes on these sand people because they can discolor over time. I don't know if that's shadows or if that's discoloration on the cape, but it does happen, so you got to be aware of that. But uh, beautiful 75-plus grade. That one sold for $9.66 for a 12-back C. Free shipping, 30 bids on that one. Uh, here is that die-cast TIE Bomber. Very tough to find this one and very, very expensive. Uh, you, you can you can always pay a lot of money for these. Now, super clean without any kind of discoloration to the wings, which is very common. Like you see here, some yellowing. Uh, you're gonna you're, if it doesn't have that yellowing, you're gonna be paying over a thousand bucks pretty easily. I, I saw one recently that sold for I think twelve hundred bucks. Uh, this one was listed for six hundred and fifty dollars. Best offer accepted. 130point.com, which is the website you use. Sometimes it's down for maintenance, and that was the case here. I could not look up the final accepted sales price. Let's say it's roughly about 600 bucks, which that's kind of like a bottom bare bones price for one that's in 75 grade condition. This one had some chipping to the paint on the die cast portion of the fuselage, uh, but easily would probably get about a 75 would be my guess on the grade on that one. And I'd be perfectly happy with something like this in my collection. Uh, graded or ungraded. I mean, this is a very, very tough to find die cast, and to get it for 600 to 650, that's a pretty good buy in my mind. Next up was a free Neonum transition card, Return of the Jedi Dengar. It did have some edge wear, but it was a beautiful crystal clear blister. 
gorgeous example and it did have a big price sticker on there and it was punched so you know you had some general wear throughout or a lot of edge wear to it probably a 75 at best would be my uh, estimation on the grade on this one this one sold for 325 i think that's a pretty good price for a 75 grade and you know it might hit a 75 because of that big spider vein there on the upper left hand corner on the front of the card kind of an ugly price sticker bad placement there but a beautiful blister on that one really nice example of a hard to find transition return of the jedi 48 back 325 again took that one home and now let's dig into these poppies this is an interesting this is sold by lj's card shop we documented some pretty amazing items that he had here recently in another video and i've got even more uh, in this video and the first one is this rebel soldier hoff poppy now this was not graded but it was full and uh, fully complete with all of the paperwork that came inside with a sealed baggie as well as the awesome uh, box that these poppies came in and these were only available in the japanese market as you can see the japanese writing on there now what's interesting about these is that he had these in like a shrink wrapped uh, example that he broke apart and he sent them into cib they did not grade them and here are the notes on it only a handful of poppy sets of this type have been found to date and while they've been wrapped together differently as a group they have all shared characteristic of the bottom inner flaps, the proof of purchase being removed from each box. So that's probably why they were not gradable, is my guess, because the proof of purchase were, were removed. This is likely due to the manufacturer not wanting the benefits of buying all 15 characters individually to be passed on as a set. Rumors indicate that these sets might have been salesman sample sets. Uh, but they also may have been discounted complete sets sold at retail or promotional sets given out in Japan. So here's the CIB on that one. And this was January 15th of 2021. Set of 15, but he broke them out individually. And, you know, certainly within the collecting community, there's been some negativity associated with him breaking these out. He's trying to get more money uh, to sell them each individually. And he certainly has sold a number of them buy it now situations. But it's... I'm not going to make a comment on whether this was the right thing to do or not, or the ethics of it. It's his item, so I can't say anything about that. But uh, he, he decided to break them out individually. Some of them he sold, buy it now, but some of these he sold in an auction. This one sold for $662 plus $20 shipping. He also had the highly coveted Death Star droid. I would love to have had this. I just don't have any money. Uh, this one sold for $900 plus $20 shipping. Now, again, these are sliding acrylic cases. These are not graded, uh, but awfully gorgeous. And certainly for my Death Star droid collection, this would have been an awesome item to add, but it would just was not meant to be, Shelly, as Belosh from Ra Raiders of the Lost Ark once said. Uh, I would love to have had this, but it was, it was just not meant to be. Awesome item. Uh, next up was C-3PO. This one sold for $811 on 16 bids plus $20 shipping. So there's are three really nice poppies Japanese poppies that all sold 661, 900, and 811 were the sales prices on those. Uh, next up was another baggie. This was an SWD sealed Stormtrooper baggie, and uh, this one sold for 187.50. I thought that was a pretty good deal. But keep in mind that the torso has discolored on this one. You can see the yellowing on that torso, so that's going to keep the grade down if you decided to grade it. It probably at best grade about an 80, 75 plus somewhere in that ballpark. But that's an early SWD baggie, really nice. I also do have an, a Death Star droid SWD baggie that is at Collector Archive right now for grading. Just obviously given that AFA is not loose grading right now, I sent it in to CAS. I'm expecting about an 80 or an 80 plus on mine when I get in there. But that'll be another nice uh, Death Star droid baggie that I'll have in probably five or six months. So we'll take a look at that when it arrives back from grading. And speaking of that... CAS is running a promotion right now for those of you who did not see. If you have mint on card standard size figures, whether they're modern vintage collection or vintage Kenner Palatoy Trilogos, they are offering free 30 day turnaround. That is a fantastic idea. I'm really excited about it. The promotion runs through the end of February. So if you've got some mint on card standard size action figures, modern or vintage, you can send them into CAS standard pricing and they're guaranteeing 30-day turnaround so that's pretty amazing and wow i hope that some some of y'all take advantage of that their modern pricing right now for vintage for vintage collection mint on card for example is 60 or 60 dollars 
and for vintage Kenner items, those are $70. But you get them back in 30 days. And that offer runs through the end of February. So that information is out there for those of you who have some mint on cards you're sitting on. You've been hesitating sending them in to CAS or whoever uh, because of the long turnaround times. CAS has a promotion right now. It's 30-day turnaround. That's pretty awesome. Next up was another baggie. This was an AT-AT Commander ESB baggie. And I think this is the ESB D or F. I can't remember which one it is. I've got the Bosque as well as the Lobot on this baggie. This one sold for 80 bucks at auction. One bid, 85 bucks after shipping. That's a pretty good buy on a very near mint plus condition AT-AT Commander baggie. And now I'm going to dig into some interesting items. These are Lily Letty Made in Mexico card backs only. And uh, this one was the Han Solo in his trench coat. That one sold for $205.73 plus $10 shipping on 32 bids. That's a really good deal. And, I, you know, for those of you that like card backs or like to collect these foreign card backs, uh, it's, a, it's a nice inexpensive way to do it relative to a mint on card. This is certainly an expensive item, but mint on card, this would be over $2,000 easily. Uh, so to get the card back, you could pair it up with a loose Lily Letty figure, send it in for custom encasing and loose grading with CAS. I've got a number of those in my collection and uh, just really nice card back there. There were some great deals on these card backs. Here was the C-3PO. It did have a lot of wear, as you can see there on uh, on the card back, and that held the price down. But normally, this is a very, very expensive card back. The C-3PO's and R2-D2 card backs can go for big money. This one sold for 96 bucks. I thought that was a great deal. Uh, here's the Emperor's Royal Guard Lily Letty card back. That sold for $83.82. And uh, here was the Weekway. That sold for $103.50. So again, you can buy these card backs, get the Lily Letty figure associated with it, send it into CAS, and they charge about 80 or 90 bucks to grade it. And they, they display it like a mint on card. They loose grade the figure and then just put on the label displayed with Lily Letty card back. So uh, it looks really great. I've got five or six in my collection, and I, I really ha I'm really happy to have those in my collection. Now, uh, here was the uh, Princess Leia in her uh, indoor poncho. This one sold for 88 bucks. What a great deal. Obviously, the card had a big crease on it uh, going through uh, the middle of the card back from left to right there, but uh, that's a great buy. 88 bucks for these Lily Letty card backs. That's hard to find these days. Now, I want to show you the Imperial Commander because here, here was a great idea. He had the Imperial Commander card back. That sold for 104 but then he also had a cut card in uh, Lily Letty, and you, and this one sold for two fifty six. Now you could buy this and then pair it with the card back, and have the cut card displayed in front of it, and it would uh, it would display just like a mint on card. And you're out of pocket for these two items. Let's call it about you know three hundred and sixty bucks, and uh, and then uh, or yeah three hundred and sixty bucks, and uh, then you send it into CAS. They would they would put the cut card in front of this card back, and it would look just like a mint on card uh, displaying from the front. And uh, so that somebody probably did that. Somebody probably bought this card back, this li this Lily Letty Imperial Commander card back for $104, bought this cut card for $256, combine them together, and then you got yourself a really nice example of a Lily Letty Imperial Commander that, that displays just like a mint on card uh, for like you know 10% or 20% of the price. Uh, next up was a Blue Saber Luke Jedi Knight. Uh, this was the Hong Kong sewn cape that was graded AFA 85, brand new case style. That one sold for $400. It might be a little high, you know, it may, but I, you know, to me, the Blue Saber Luke's ungraded can go for $200 bucks plus, and to get an AFA 85 brand new case style for $400, and it's probably about right. Uh, it sat on the market for about two or three weeks. I had it on my watch list, but it did finally sell the other day for $400 free shipping. Uh, next up, we've got some mint on cards, again, from LJ's Card Shop. This was a beautiful 41 back D original R2-D2 solid dome. It was graded yellowed AFA 80, straight 80s for the subscore. Just very, very light yellowing on the blister, which is why I got the yellow label uh, on the AFA label. But you can see there, just very light yellowing towards the top of the blister. Unpunched example. And this is the very last card back, to my knowledge, the 41 back D before they switched over to the R2-D2 sensor scope. So this is a tough-to-find item, and the price reflected that. It sold for $700 on 35 bids plus $15 shipping. And again, if it's if it's not 
a yellowed blister, this would probably be uh, 900 to to $1,000 pretty easily. So you get a nice discount just for the light yellowing on the blister. Now here was the big boy. This was a miscard Meccano AFA 20. That's the lowest score I've seen for one of these. But it's got the Luke Jedi on a Yan Solo Meccano card back. And here's the grading label on that one. Uh, G Luke Jedi miscard AFA 60 20 85 how about that spread of scores there and of course they got the 20 overall because the blister was in such rough shape but they added the blister support so you know you're comfortable knowing that it probably won't break out of its case uh these these meccano blisters are very very fragile that one sold for $1,054. There was one on Facebook that was ungraded. Admittedly, the blister was in a little bit better shape than this that sold for $1,000. So $1,054 already graded, admittedly lower grade, but with an archival case and blister support versus the same price for an ungraded one that was probably more like a 50 grade. So a uh, pretty awesome item. Not one you find that comes up at auction very often. There was one at Hakes uh, mid last year that sold. And I don't remember the sales price on it, but uh, very common miss card for this Meccano card back, but it's not common for it to come up at auction. But what an awesome item. Uh, next up was a Weekway Clear Blister 65 back. Beautiful item, light edge wear, but it was unpunched with a slight crease at the top of the hang tab there, as you can see. But you can see also the edge wear on the left-hand side. But look how crystal clear that blister is. Light crease in the lower left-hand corner on the front of the card back. Probably an overall 80 would be my guess. Low 80 or 75 plus. 116 bucks. That's a great deal for a clear blister U.S. card. Return of the Jedi 65 back. You can't beat that price. Uh, finally, I've got a few Power of the Force to finish things off. We got an EV99. Uh, that one did have some litho damage from where someone tried to take the sticker off. It did also have some writing in the upper right hand corner on a little price sticker 3889 is handwritten there the blister was not too badly yellowed very moderately moderately yellowed uh, but it was in great shape overall that one sold for 545 dollars plus 1580 shipping not a terrible price but obviously at best it's probably about a 75 grade because of the sticker damage there in the on the right hand side next up uh, is the Amanaman, and that one sold for 326 bucks. It did have some litho damage again on the right-hand side where probably someone tried to remove the price stickers. Moderate yellowing again, but the blister was in pretty good shape overall, and it was punched. That one sold again for 326 plus 1580 shipping. Pretty good deal on another Minton card, Power of the Force, last 17 figure. That's all I really had for this video. Lots of good deals, lots of rare stuff that sold at auction. I hope you enjoyed this watch list clean out video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back soon.